The Geordie Files. Geordie Files. Geordie with the good hair tonight. Oh, thank you. I grew it myself. You didn't say anything about my hair. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's looking good. Thank you. It's looking good. Thank you. <laughs> Jordy, you said we have a big day today. What do we got going on? We do. So, just a disclaimer before we get started. Today is definitely one of the best four birthdays on the Jordy Files, if I do say so myself. It uh-huh. was really exciting. So today, not February, May 26th, um, in 1920... American singer, actress Peggy Lee, who had the 1958 single Fever, was born on this day. Jam. Jam. That's a good song. Fever. Fever. Um, and then in 1926. It was, all, it was also recorded by the one and the only Elvis himself. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Duh. And then in 1926, Miles Davis, jazz trumpeter and composer who had the 1959 album with with a uh, kind of blue. He was a major influence on jazz music. And then I just wanted to say, if peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. <laughs> Name that movie. Oh, yeah. Name it in the in the chats and in comments the chats. there. Yes. I know what it is. Uh, yeah. And if you don't. Shame. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then in 1940, LaVon Helm, drummer and singer with the band, was born on this day. In 1948, look, we're still way back in the 40s. This Unbelievable. Is, yeah, it's crazy. Everybody was born today. Everybody. I wonder what nine months ago was. Anyway, in 1948, <laughs> American singer-songwriter Stevie Nicks from Fleetwood Mac, who scored the 1987 single, single, Little Lies, and the 1977 single, Dreams, um, taken from the worldwide number one album, Rumors. In 1949, American singer-songwriter and musician Hank Williams Jr., the son of country music's greatest star, was born on this day. In 1959, English music- musician Wayne Hussey was born. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to say Hussey. I, I did. Um, who was a member of Dead or Alive, who had the 1985 single, You Spin Me Round Like a Record. And I wanted to, that's a good one too. (laughs) Another jam. In 1964, American singer, songwriter Lenny Kravitz, who had the 1990 hit single, Let Love Rule, and the 1999 single, Fly Away, obviously. And then in 1972, English rock drummer Alan White from Oasis, he is the longest serving drummer in Oasis's history, performing on four studio albums. How about that? Yes. And then in 1981, Isaac Slade, lead singer and pianist from American rock band The Fray, who scored the 2005 single, How to Save a Life. How to Save a Life, of course. Jam. Classic. Yep. And then some local birthdays are sort of local. Um, happy belated birthday to Jeff Farishidian and Summer Gill. Hell yeah. <laughs> and happy birthday to Zaza Xander James. Xander James. <laughs> Xander James. Now we, can all have, now we can all have the moment. Zaza. Zaza. Oh boy. Um, super envious of your New York. Uh, celebration with Summer and Xander. Saw all your photos on Facebook, living vicariously. Shame on you both, but congrats. (laughs) Vicariously. Yes, through them. Vicariously. Oh, did I say that wrong? No, I just... I just discovered that I'm vicarious. (laughs) Not to be confused with. And then on this day in music history, uh, 1964, Marianne Faithful. Recorded. From Gilligan's Island? Is it? No, and the Skipper, kidding. too. <laughs> <laughs> recorded, <Sorry>. the, <laughs> recorded the Mick Jagger and Keith Richards song, As Tears Go By, accompanied by future Led Zeppelin members Jimmy Page on guitar and John Paul Jones on bass. 
1979, Sunday Girl gave Blondie their second hit single. The track was taken from the group's Parallel Lines, which went on to become the biggest selling album of 1979. In 1984, this is a jam, y'all. Former backing singer with Stevie Wonder, Denise Williams, started a two-week run at number one on the singles charts with Let's Hear It For The Boy, taken from the film Footloose. It's a jam. I didn't know she was a a background singer for Stevie. I didn't. I learned that today, too. (laughs) So educational. I love it. Right? more you know. more. Stick with me, folks. (laughs) I'll teach you something (laughs) i don't know what but oh dear lots of knowledge in those files yeah i know i am the file keeper in 1990 for the first time ever the top five positions on the u.s singles chart were held by female artists madonna was at number one with vogue of course heart yes alone vogue heart was at number two shanid o'connor number three wilson phillips at number four and janet jackson took the fifth spot what year was that 1990 wow yes pivotal in 1994 <laughs> it was the big day for the jacks or pivotal. big day for the jacksons in 1994 michael jackson married lisa marie presley daughter of elvis presley the couple divorced in 1995 womp, womp. um <laughs> put that one in there from my mom she loves the elvis himself in 2015 U.S. authorities were investigating the death of blues legend B.B. King after two of his daughters claimed he was poisoned. Karen Williams and Patty King said the musician had been... Wait, Patty King. Patty King. King. I know Patty King. King of the fiddles. Yes. (laughs) B.B. King's kid. (laughs) Um, You can see the resemblance. Yeah, right? (laughs) He get it from his dad. Well, Patty's mom is watching, so she's got some explaining to do. Uh, Yeah, right? Uh, uh, Uh-uh. Patty King and Karen Williams said the musician had been given foreign substances to induce his premature death by his business manager. Dun, dun, dun. And, um, thank you. (laughs) Um, Laverne Tony. Uh, I mean, he was, he was. It's not like he died young. I know. Yeah, he he had a quite quite old. He had a solid run. I mean, not, not that. Whatever. Yeah, not that it's ever a good time to, <laughs> to pass away, but... Didn't um, seem that suspicious. <laughs> yeah. And he got to pass away in Vegas, so I feel like that's pretty hmm. pretty okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> I, never mind. I was going to make a very morbid joke. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. And then a nice segue into departures. In 1968, this is a weird fact tying into the birthdays from today. Um, U.S. blues artist Little Willie John passed away in prison after being convicted of manslaughter. He co-wrote and was the first to record Fever, huh. covered by Peggy Lee oh, in wow. 1958. Manslaughter. Manslaughter. And <laughs> Need Your Love So Bad, covered by Fleetwood Mac. And it's Stevie Nicks' birthday today. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes. nice. Covered by Fleetwood Mac. Yep. What a... I know. What a it, web we weave. It was a it blew my mind today. History. Yep. Just all coming together. <laughs> James Brown recorded a tribute about thinking of little Willie John and a few <laughs> other nice things also. And then in 1977, Billy Powell, singer with the OJs, passed away of cancer. Um, he had the nineteen seventy-two hit Backstabbers and the nineteen seventy-three single Love Train originally known as the Triumphs, and then the Mascots. They took the name the OJs in tribute to radio disc jockey Eddie OJ. Hmm. So. Now now you know. Now you know. And that's all I have for you fine folks today. Oh, the Jordy Thank you. Thank you. 